Hi everyone, my name is Melissa. In this video, I want to show you one way of splitting multi-line cells into multiple rows. Sometimes you can get an Excel file where data inside the cell is split across multiple lines. Today, I want to show you how you can use text.split and list.zip to help you out in a case like that. So let's go over to Power Query. Before we do anything, make sure to have that formula bar visible on your screen. If it's not visible, go to the View tab and toggle it on. Second, let's also find out how we can look for carriage returns or line feeds. Now for that, I'll open the advanced editor window and use this question mark in the upper right corner. This brings me straight to the online documentation. I'll select the language specification and go to consolidated grammar. Let's scroll down a bit. And here we have character escape sequences. And this shows us how to write those carriage returns or line feeds. So we need to start with a hash or a pound sign, followed by an opening parentheses, and then the control character. And as you can see, those are two or three letters. It's CR for carriage return, LF for line feed, or tab for a tab. And then a closing parentheses. Right, so now we've got that sorted, let's go back to our example. I can imagine that you might not know which one to use, and that's okay, we can just try that out. So let's add a custom column. I'll click on that mini table icon in the top left corner and select add custom column. I'll call this temp and enter a function called text.split. So it wants a text as a text and a separator as a text as well. So I'll select my priority column. And then as a text, I'll enter, let's start with that character return first. In between a set of double quotes, hash or pound sign, opening parentheses, CR for character return and a closing parentheses, closing parentheses for the function and press OK. So we get a list. Let's click off to the side in the white space here and we see a preview down below. So this is working fine. This looks good. Let's also give that a go for our second column. I'll click on that gear wheel icon and instead of priority, let's change that into our MS schedule column. Okay, let's see the contents. This is not looking good. So this is not what we want. Let's change that inside the formula bar into a line feed, LF, and press OK. Click off to the side in the white space again. This looks good. Let's check that for our priority column as well. Yep. That's looking good. So we need the line feed. So now we know how to split our cell into multiple list items. We can bring the items together based on their position in that list to create a set of value pairs. For that, we can use list.zip. I'll copy this section and I'll add list.zip, opening parentheses, and it wants lists as a list. A single list, so we need those curly brackets to create a list containing lists. And of course, this first part also returned a list. We can still see that on our screen. Enter a comma, paste in that piece of code again, add that closing curly bracket and closing parentheses. So we've got that sorted. Let's just change the column reference here. Now 
OK, and let's press OK. Click off to the side in the white space and we now have a list containing multiple lists. Let's add one as a new query so we can see the contents because we need to get those value pairs together, right? Let's step back 1 and 24 times 7 and 4 and right. OK, let's check the first one. That's correct. And let's check that final one. And that's also correct. Perfect. We can remove this. Now I can use projection to only keep the columns that I want. I'm only interested in the first column that's called tier and in the column that we just created called temp. In a set of square brackets, we can point to the columns that we want to keep. Now, those columns, of course, those column names we need to pass in a set of square brackets as well. So again, square brackets, tier, that's our first column, comma, another set of square brackets, temp. So we're left with this small table and now we can expand those to new rows. And again, with those sideward arrows, extract the values. Let's add a custom delimiter and press OK. Well, not quite there yet. We need some cleaning up. So let's step to our add custom column. And we need to transform the contents of this list. For that, of course, we have a function called list.transform. So I'll add that here in the formula bar. List.transform, opening parentheses, first argument is a list. That's what text.split returns. And then we need to give it a transformation. In this case, we want to clean those texts. So text dot clean is the function that we need closing parentheses for that and I'll copy that function name here. Now it was only required for that first column, but I'll add that for the second as well. Paste that in, press OK. Let's step back to the final step. That's awesome. All that's left to do is split this column by that delimiter that we've given it. Split by delimiter. It picked up the delimiter that we want. Each occurrence, that's fine. Perfect. Now, inside the formula bar here, we can also give it, give those columns back their proper name. So the first one was called priority. And the second was MS schedule. All done. So we've seen how to use a character escape sequences to look for line feeds, character returns or tabs, and how to use that to split multi-line cells into multiple rows, turning your data back into a proper tabular format. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.